In Manchester, at Britain's second airport, passengers are getting used to controversial new security procedures. It's just a safety thing you have to do. It has to be done. The RapaScan whole body image scanner will soon be at the heart of Britain's airport security. Right now, it's only part of a voluntary program. Scanners like this are in use at some U.S. airports, and the Dutch have just made them mandatory for all their U.S.-bound flights. Britain's Prime Minister wants them at every U.K. airport, despite warnings the scanners aren't perfect. It's not the be-all and end-all silver bullet to aviation security. It's limited in, in its ability to, to, to identify all potential threats. For instance, the scanners can't see powders, plastic or liquids. I tried to test this. I went through the scanner concealing a small packet of salt and a little plastic cup of milk. But airport officials won't say whether the scanner detected either of them. However, experts say the scanners are still more accurate than a pat-down. The machine can show intimate parts of the anatomy. Some say it's an invasion of privacy, but most passengers put security first. If it keeps us safe, it's fine. Who'd want to look at my bits? <laughs> the images will be displayed in a remote location and can't be stored. It may be some time before these advanced scanners can be installed in all the right places. In the meantime, security people know they have to be vigilant every day, on every flight, and at every airport. The terrorists only have to be lucky once. Amy Gutman, CBS News, Manchester.